Hey guys, so about nine months ago, I made a video about FNAF statue concepts, and um... I don't know why I waited nine months to make part two, but I'm making part two right now. So, yeah, I've taken some suggestions from the comments of that video, and I've put some stuff together, and I, we have ten statues today to look at, plus technically... technically eleven. I might be wrong though. I don't, I don't remember, I didn't actually count. But anyway, let's just go on. Yeah, let's start off, let's just get straight into it, because I don't know what else to do in the intro. So as we know, the statue line was kicked off by a security breach, and I think just to give the game a little more respect for the statues for starting off the line, I think I sh probably should make the, the three other glam rocks since Freddy got a statue, so we should probably give one to the other three, so... Here we got the Glamrock Gang statue with Monty, Roxy, and Chica for 60 bucks. This one would, um, it's pretty basic, you know, it's just kind of the characters standing there posed, but that's all it really needs to be. Also, I came up with a rule that it's either two characters and the background elements, or it's two characters and a third character. So, that's basically the system I came up with for these statues, and I decided on that for this one since... You know, it's just easier to throw them all in one statue. And yeah, I think this one turned out pretty good. They're all um, posed based off of their personalities and such. And uh, yeah, not a whole lot to say about this one. I just really like it. Then this next one, we got the daycare attendant with the sun and the moon. You can see it has all the little daycare barrels and a security badge and a little wet floor bot because why not? And a little duffel bag and their plushies on the floor. This one definitely has the best background elements out of all the statues in this video. And, um, yeah, I posed the sun with his arms up in the air, all happy looking. Then I posed the moon all slouched down and creepy, because he is, um... He's a little bit of a... Never mind. Anyway, moving on. I also rendered this one in the dark, just because, why not? Now we got the Funtime Freddy and Circus Baby statue. This one is very basic. Um, it's just kind of them sitting there because I had no idea what kind of elements to put in the background of this I just knew that this is a statue that had to exist. So This is basically all for this one. I do enjoy how it turned out. I think I the posing turned out all right I just didn't really think couldn't really think of any good ideas to put stuff around them I mean I tried some stuff, but none of it really stuck so um yeah, this one's pretty basic, but I still think it turned out pretty good. Now we got Prize King for $2,000. As you can see, he is made of real 24 karat gold. He is, um, he's got actual, um, balls in him, and they can, um, you open them up, and they actually give you prizes. Um, open up one of them, and Funtime Chica, the entire animatronic, will just come out of the, it'll be like a, what, an inch big on the statue. Um, but yeah, this one will be $2,000, and I think that's a pretty solid deal. Um, yeah, uh, Prize King. Next up, we got this statue, which is another Security Breach statue, which is the final boss. So, basically my thought process with this one was the final boss in Security Breach. Um, love it or hate it, I hate it. I'm pretty sure most people hate it. But it was a pretty iconic moment, all things considered. And the characters in that final boss look pretty sick. So, I feel like they should be included as a statue just because I think that looked really cool. So, here's the final boss statue. This would be $70. It would come with Burn Trap, Shattered Roxy, Shattered Chica, and Shattered Monty. And if that middle area looks a little empty, that's because there is a chase variant that comes with Glamrock Freddy being possessed. Because, um... He can't- he just can't catch a break. So, there's Glamrock Freddy in the middle on this one, and I also made Burn Trap's eyes glowing on this version, just to make it seem a little more special. This would be a chase variant of the statue, because Funko loves that stuff. And, yeah, I don't know. I- maybe this would just be the standard statue. I don't know. I just felt- some people- I asked a few people, like, if they liked it with or without Freddy, and I got a few different answers. So I decided to just add both of them. So here's the version with Freddy, and- yeah, so let's move on. Next up, we got Withered Freddy and Withered Foxy. Um, these two just kind of have some presence around them. Withered Freddy's got his arm grabbing out like he's known to do. He's got his microphone in hand. And then you got Withered Foxy with his hook up in the air. And his other hand's just kind of dangling off to the side. 
Uh, yeah, I think this one's alright. I added some little presents to the bottom just for some decor. And this would be 50 bucks. And yeah, next we got Withered Bonnie and Withered Chica. And this would also be 50 bucks. This would have Withered Bonnie with his hand reaching out, um, like he does in his jump scare. And he's got his one of his ears flopped down. Then we got Withered Chica with her arms sticking straight because for some reason her elbow joints just don't work. And then her mouth is wide open, ready to just... Withered Chica is terrifying. I, I don't just know. And then we got the final statue, which is Afton and Cassidy. So... This statue is pretty more, pretty much more of an abstract idea I had. So Afton and Cassidy, if you know anything about the FNAF lore, are very prominent characters, and Cassidy is the reason that William Afton is still allowed to live, and the reason he's still alive after FNAF 6 and FNAF 3. So basically, uh, this is just a statue of Springtrap and Golden Freddy posed together, because I thought that would be a really cool idea, so I just kind of went with it. And, um, yeah, that's basically it. It's a short video, but, um, haha, <laughs> just kidding. You thought the video was over? Come on, come on, I wouldn't do that to you. So, now, just for fun, I'm gonna make chase variants of some of my older statues. So, here's the first one. We have the Freddy Fazbear statue from my first statue video, the first statue from that video. And I have a chase variant here with the old endoskeleton design and with the old eye design. So, yeah, this one's basically just like a cool little nod to FNAF history and stuff. I think this is pretty cool. I definitely like it a lot. Um, and I think this would be really cool if Funko did do this. They would never, obviously, since these designs were scrapped, but I do think it would be really cool. Then we got the second chase, which is the chase of the Springtrap statue, which is flaming Springtrap with golden Freddy pieces instead of normal Freddy pieces. Um, so, yeah, uh, this one, again, pretty self-explanatory, it's just a simple repaint, but it is a cool one. And then we got this one, which is a scrapped statue from a cancelled Statue Concepts Part 2 that was a few months ago, before I decided to pick it back up again. But this statue was cut, but I decided to throw it in here because, you know, why not? It's cool. I think it's just a little bleh, I'm not a huge fan of it. But then we got the Glamrock Gang statue chase variant, which I know this is from this video, but I don't care. This is a variant of them, you know, all dirty, like they are near the end of the game, before you shatter them. So, yeah, pretty cool. Um, I, I'm also just now noticing Monty's dirty textures have, like, blood on his fingers. Um, that's a little weird. Anyway, now we got the final chase variant, which is Withered Freddy and Withered Foxy in their FNAF 2, like, rare screen variants. Uh, this one I think is just really cool, and I would really love it if Funko would do something like this, because, honestly, I really want more references to, like, those, like, any references to those rare screens and merch would be so cool. Like, even just, like, a poster or whatever, because they look so cool. Especially the Withered Freddy one and the Withered Foxy one. Those ones really just, like, stuck with me. So, I decided, you know, might as well make a variant about it, since I think it would be really cool. And, um, yeah, it's basically it. Um, now the video is actually over, so, um, bye. <coughs> like and subscribe.